Bear, come here. <sighs> come here. Come here. Lay in the fire pit. Sit. There you go. Welcome back. Howdy. Good morning. Good morning. Howdy. Listen to that. I love you. I love you too. Love <laughs> morning, everybody. Sunsets like a tangerine. Let's find a road we've never seen. Life is short. Make it sweet. Oh, my goodness. Well. Well, what? <laughs> What's the matter with you? Am I talking funny or something? She's been in Arkansas for a week. Man, this is my Arkansas. <laughs> Arkansas? Yeah. My Arkansas. You know, you be around that for a while and you just start talking that way. You sound like, what's her name? Ruth from Ozarks. Ruth from the Ozarks? Well, she had a higher voice than that. <laughs> People keep asking me to do my Ozarkian, so this is coming close. <laughs> I'm oh home now. Oh my goodness. You gotta slap this out of me. I mean, I don't mean literally, but yeah. you know. Okay. You know what I mean. <laughs> yes, I do. Welcome to Quartzite. I'm glad that you're still here. <laughs> she did that when I picked her up at the airport, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some of this Arizona coffee will just wash it right out of me, we hope. <laughs> People are going to be looking at me really strange. Again. I mean, yeah, more than usual. More than usual. <laughs> so last Saturday. Oh, really? What? <laughs> I need some, another sip. You think we'll wash it away? Okay, yeah. let's try. <clears throat> okay, back to normal. Oh, my God. So last Saturday, we went to the big tent. <laughs> on opening day. On opening day. If you Call us crazy. If you missed that, miss that video, go check it out. We'll link it in the description below. It's last Saturday's video. Yep. So we chatted with everybody after we went, right? Because we went yes. first thing in the morning. Yes. Let's get over there, get yeah. this done, get it over with. There were times when I'm squished between people and I'm going, I can't breathe. <laughs> because they were a lot taller than her. <laughs> yes, everybody's taller than me. So I'm walking squished in between people, I can't breathe. <laughs> I said, I need a snorkel. And somebody thought that was funny. <laughs> oh gosh. So uh, once we did, and you know what? We weren't really impressed with very many things over there this year. And I don't know, maybe. Of course. Because because we've been here so many years in a row and our expectations are up here i think it's the same as it always is but for some reason for us it just wasn't this year and i don't know why and maybe it's because we were there in amongst so many people and we just kind of got through it all yeah. you know so yeah. it could be we missed a lot of stuff and yeah. so we're gonna go back tomorrow on the last day yeah. time for you to take your pills in. thanks um <laughs> so that could be part of it. And so we're gonna go back tomorrow on the last day. And some people leave early. And what yeah. we've heard is that if you do that, if you do not stay until closing if, time if on you're Sunday. A vendor, of a the vendor, tent. vendor, yeah. And you leave, you close up and leave early, you can't come back. Yeah, they say you're you're barred from coming back as a vendor in, inside the big tent. And maybe those I don't people, know if that's true or not. And maybe those people that leave early go, I don't want to ever come back. <laughs> 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 These RVers are crazy. <laughs> So after we got done doing that, we came back and we did our chat with you all. And then Wayne and Carrie arrived. Yes, that was so much fun. Yeah. It's so great to see you guys. I don't know what their little handle is that they go by. WC Yeah, WC Adventures, RV Adventures, I think. Sorry, Wayne and Carrie. I, I think. don't know what it is. He's the one that does all that <laughs> social media stuff. <laughs> I know he has Wayne and Carrie. <laughs> um, so that was fun to have them here. We got to visit with them a little bit. Sunday I was pretty much busy packing for my trip to Arkansas mm -hmm. and uh, getting all that stuff ready and you got to hang out with everybody and Bob and Pearl arrived yep. and you got to hang out and then um, I did did get done all the things I needed to do so that I could play Mexican train with everybody yep. and uh, I think I did I have a high score I don't know if I didn't I was dang close I don't remember <laughs> I don't either I always go for high score. You know, I'm used to those kinds of games. Yes. 
<laughs> it's like, okay, most points. Here we go. Yes. <laughs> Monday was Bob's birthday. Hope that y'all caught that um, sometime. Yeah. We did yeah. a happy birthday we for did. Bob. And we did. We had a really good day on Monday for Bob's birthday. We really did. After you dropped me off at, yes. at the airport. So Tom yeah. had to drive me all the way to Palm Springs. He, he sure. pulled a Dave and Bonnie. Yeah. So... <laughs> Um, he drove me all the way to Palm Springs for me to leave and then came back. So yep. it's a two-hour drive each way, yep. so a four-hour round trip. Bear and I did it together. Yes, did Bear. Yes. yes, Bear yes, we loves did. to be in her truck, so she's a happy camper to That's just right. do that. Loves being in her truck. Um, so you flew from here to Houston to Little Rock yes. on Monday. Yes. And you spent a week in Arkansas assisting your sister who just had surgery. Yeah, she had back surgery. Okay. And this is actually her third week after surgery, but her daughter-in-law was going to be out of town, actually. Angie flew to Phoenix, and I flew to Arkansas, yeah. and then we flip-flopped yesterday. <laughs> and Angie was helping take care of Judy, yeah, so the sister. Angie works at home, so and my sister's little mother-in-law quarters is right behind their house. And so Angie's handy if Judy should need her. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Angie was gonna be gone and the kids in school and my nephew at work. So she needed somebody to help her because she has a lot of dogs and she's got birds. And so- um, Speaking of oh, birds. Oh, speaking of the birds. Oh my gosh, they're so funny, especially this one. So she's got two little parakeets. They're kind of antisocial. And then she has a lorikeet. And when I first met Fuji, he's very, very pretty, very brightly colored. His name is Fuji, and he's a lorikeet. And I said, oh, we have the same name, because it's L-O-R-I-K-E-E-T. Wouldn't that be funny if somebody named their kid that? Their first name was Lori, and their middle name was Keat. <laughs> Thank you, Mom and Dad, for not doing that to me. Um, but anyway, he's very talkative. And he says, I love you. And if you're petting him, he'll go, ouch. <laughs> but didn't you make a video? I did make a video. So we'll show it to you right Hello. now. Hey, pretty bird. I love you. I love you. Come on, puppy. You need a pet? Oh, yes. Pretty baby. Ow. 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 You're funny. You're very funny. Yes. What are you doing? Come here. Oh, you're so jealous. You want all the attention. Come on, Bella. Come on. Come on. Aren't they pretty? Wow. He is just so funny. And Bella, she's the cockatoo. She's pretty. And she talks too, but I can never tell what she's saying. Whereas he is very, he mimics my sister. So my sister will be yelling, hey, at the dog. And he'll go, hey. <laughs> and, and there were a couple times when I thought that she was yelling at the dogs. And I go running in there. And I'm like, is everything okay? And she says, yeah, why? And I went, I thought I heard you. She says, no, that was Fuji. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> it was funny. So so that was entertaining. And then she, um, she does a rescue. So right now she has four dogs. And... Uh, it, it's, she works full time and she has a dog rescue? Mm hmm. Yes. Yep. Because in Arkansas, people just dump dogs left yeah. and right. So that's how my nephew, and they live in a big property, like acres. So my nephew has eight dogs. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's pretty entertaining, too. <laughs> I didn't get to interact with them a whole lot, but a little bit. <laughs> so I had fun with the dogs, but she has a. Um, a pit bull that is the biggest love bug. I've got pictures of him. We'll show you right now. His name is Tucker, and Tucker. he just wants to be oh. a, a love bug on, you know, just lay on you <laughs> and lay next to you and have to have a paw on you. And he's a sweetie, and he's wonderful with the little dogs. Now, the little dogs, there's King and Pebbles. Pebbles is a mama dog, and King is the daddy, and then they have she has one of their daughters and her name is Riley. And Pebbles is very, very, very overly timid. Um, she will hide, she goes to Judy, and I do have a couple pictures of me holding her, but that was after I snagged her from her being with Judy. And she doesn't fight to get down, she just kind of, she won't look at you, but she'll just be resigned to the fact that she's being held by a stranger, you know? <laughs> 
And it's funny because she won't wiggle to get down. She won't bite, nothing. She just like freezes. But I got to snuggle with her for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> Judy calls it torture. She tortures her. But um, the dogs, it, it, it was good. And I, But my sister needs help. She can't bend over and she can't lift anything over five pounds. So she did need some help with uh, with things. And um, she has the three grandkids, they're two teenagers and a seven-year-old, and they're very, very big helpers. So um, so they are there to help too when, you know, Angie's not available to help. And then uh, yesterday morning before I left, I was um, looking out the windows and I saw this uh, doe, this pretty deer, and she was walking and all of a sudden she just jumped straight up over the fence and I was wondering why she was all by herself and then um, I look here at, comes look some at more. all the rest of them yeah look at there here comes some more of them out of the the woods so <laughs> out of the woods. the woods oh no don't you get me started again oh no I have another sip of coffee <laughs> it's back yeah <laughs> okay oh, that was nice it's like a little tick, isn't it? Thanks. Yes. <laughs> I got a tick. I got ticks in, in Arkansas. <laughs> Not the kind of bugs, but the little tick where I break into Arkansas. <laughs> Arkansas. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tom used to live in Fort Smith, Arkansas. Yeah. So, so I, I feel like I can make fun of it a little bit. And oh, my yeah. sister and brother. So please do not get offended. If you've lived there, are from there, have family that live there, yeah. are our Razorback lovers or any of that. Yeah. So went to high school in Fort Smith. Holy moly. <laughs> That's another life. <laughs> <laughs> but I did have a very nice time visiting with my sister. She is working because she works from home anyway. And uh, she had some meetings and stuff. So mm -hmm. I just took care of everything, helped get her whatever she needed. Well, She's, good. She didn't want me to come home because it is a little bit different having some a helper right there in your house with you yeah. whenever you need anything like that. Because I remember she, those days last summer with my knee. Yeah. Well, she'll try to get up and do stuff and I'm like, "What do you need? I'll get it." You know, yes. cuz she's used to either bothering Angie to come over to do it during the day or having one of the kids have to come over and help yeah. her. Yeah. So after I left, she told me this yesterday, she um, she had to uh, call my nephew over to help her. She had laid down for a nap. And she had this big fluffy robe, and she laid down like on her stomach, and she had this robe on. Well, all the dogs laid on both of it, so she was trapped. I know how that feels, because Bear and Kaylee do that to me all the time. It's like, okay, I can't move. And she couldn't move, especially when she has an injured back and can't, you know, wiggle out of it. So she had to call her son to come and help. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm trapped, and I can't get up. So, all in all, I had a pretty good visit. So um, she's doing a lot better. She does more than she should and doesn't take her pain mail medicine and because she's got to work, so she doesn't want to be totally out of it. Um, going there, I had the worst flight I've ever, 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 ever been on. I was so sick. I did not into the bag, thank goodness, but I had the bags handy, let me tell you. I had a little gal next to me. She was sweet and helped me. She was... Um, she lives in Houston, so that was where my flight was too. And she said that was, she says, I fly all the time and that was the worst flight I've ever been on. It was not just the the shaking the turbulence. turbulence, it was the whoo, whoo, doo, 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 doo. I felt like I was, yeah, I don't make me do it again. I'll How'd it go? <laughs> it was on. What was that? Yeah, do it I, again. Woo, 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 woo. Something like that. <laughs> and I'm like, mm, mm. I, oh, it was, it was horrible. So I didn't take enough Dramamine, for, was my first mistake. Oh my my first mistake was we had a couple donuts before we left. Don't ever do that. <laughs> um, and uh, what was my other mistake? Oh, I should have had the little wristbands. Yeah. So this time coming home, I was feeling um, good. I did not do any of those things. I did not eat donuts before I left. I had some, cr just some saltine crackers. And um, I, my sister had some of those little wristbands that you put on where you put on the pulse point. And I do know they work because they used to work for Ashley when she was little. She had car sick really bad. And uh, so I had those on. I took a full dose, if not more, of Dramamine. And, <laughs> and I did it twice. Once at the very beginning of the first trip. And 
one in the in the middle before I got in the, the second plane. Because also, so going from um, my sister's place to the, the uh, airport was an hour and a half drive. Then the f two flights and then a two hour drive from Palm Springs to here. So that's a lot of travel, a lot of motion. And my head is still not quite settled. So, so that's all the things that I did this week. What did you do? Besides get spoiled by all these people feeding me all kinds of delicious <laughs> food. What else? What else did you do? What did I do all week? Yeah. I opened up lunch bags. <laughs> Lori's gone all week and I'm batching it. Kinda. She left me some bags. Brown paper bags. Get a load of this. And they're labeled. Here's Mondays. There's Tuesdays. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday's when she comes home, Friday night late. Monday's bag, let's see what's in here. All right, Monday, let's check this out. A fig bar. <laughs> A bite-sized payday. A second bite-sized payday. A bite-sized Hershey. A bite-sized Reese's. <laughs> <laughs> Another bite size Hershey. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? <gasps> cookies. Four Oreo cookies. Now, where in the heck is she hiding those? I didn't even know we had Oreo cookies. All right, that was Monday. Notice I didn't eat anything. I'm trying to be a good boy and watch my boyish figure. All right, this is Tuesday's bag. Let's see if it's any different from Monday's bag. Oh, yep, there's a regular granola bar. Eh, same Hershey's bite size. There's a payday. There's another payday. There's a Reese's. What else is in here? Ooh, Mr. Good Bar. Oh, I might have to have that one. Oh, look at this. More cookies. They have got to be here in this RV someplace. Lori's also pre-made my breakfast for me each day. Like, here's the cereal for the tomorrow morning. Bag of cereal, that's one bowl. Can you read that? Water to six. That's coffee. It's already ground up because we ground our own beans every day. So all I have to do is take that, put it in here, to six and turn it on. The coffee's already made for me. And then here's the next day's breakfast, Cheerios. More coffee, more Cheerios. My goodness. Holy moly. Am I spoiled or what? <laughs> All right, let's see what's in Wednesday's bag of surprises. Open this up. See what kind of nutritious value we have today. Another payday. Another payday. Ooh, granola. Ooh, Reese's. Oh, yes. Another Mr. Good Bar. Yummy. I'll need that one. Ooh, Hershey's with almonds. Ooh, need that one. And more cookies. You know, I looked, I don't have a clue where she's hiding these cookies. All right, it's Thursday. Let's see what's in this one. Let's open her up. Ooh. I'm surprised she didn't tape these shut. Oh my goodness, here we go again. Payday. Ooh, Hershey's. Mmm, fig bars. <laughs> Another payday. Reese's. Mmm, Hershey's. <laughs> I gotta find out where she's hiding these cookies in this RV. Here we go, another day. Oh boy, it's Friday. Let's see what we've got in this one. All right. Oops, look what I did. 
<laughs> I destroyed a bag. Oh, I think I'm in trouble. All right, here we go again. Couple paydays. Another Reese's. Another granola bar. Ooh, Hershey's with almonds. Oh yeah, Mr. Good Bar. Need to set that one aside. I'm telling you, I have not found these cookies yet, but here's another bag of cookies. You know what? I've got every bag of cookies. I have saved them all. I'm going to find out where the real source of these cookies is hidden. Am I lucky or what? I got me an Arkansas woman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I actually had meant to put little notes in each of those bags, but I ran out of time. I do have a question. How come there wasn't any meat and cheese in any of those bags? It's all sugar. It was all your little treats that, because you're always saying, can I have this? All my can little I have treats? That? Yes. Can I have this? Can I have that? I'm like, you're an adult. <laughs> you have it if you want it. So this way, it, he already had permission. Here's your bag of treats for the day. Okay. One thing I got to know is, where are those cookies hidden inside that RV? What? I still can't find them. The Oreos? Yes. Well, I'm not going to tell you because then you'll eat the whole package. That's why you have to be given servings. Okay. Who does that? Who opens up a, besides Dave? He's not allowed to answer because we all know his answer. He'll open it up and eat the whole thing. And eat the whole thing. <laughs> and so would you. And then you would make yourself sick. You'd probably go into a diabetic coma. So I have to keep things hidden from you. <laughs> so, but if something's out in the open, yes, you may have some of them. But hidden away, it just needs to stay. I can't find them. I've looked everywhere. The house is only so big. I so know. I can't look find everywhere. Them. I cannot find them. <laughs> I have to keep you alive, so somebody has to drive. Oh. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, you know it. <laughs> I'm happy to be home. I'll miss my sister and everybody there, but. Well, Bear and Kaylee and I are happy you're home too. Well, thank you. Gosh. Here's to that. Here's to that. Welcome home. Thank you. See ya. Take your banner and raise it to the sky. You ready to go have breakfast? Let's go. Come on, let's go eat. Come on, let's go.